Chapter 22 The Chapters on Wills Chapter 1 Did the Messenger of Allah so make a will? It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah did not leave behind a dinar nor a dirham, nor a sheep nor a camel, and he did not make a will concerning anything. Great Sahih. It was narrated from Malik bin Migwal that Tala bin Musarif said, I said to Abdullah bin Abu Alfa, Did the Messenger of Allah make a will concerning anything? He said, No. I said, How come he told the Muslims to make wills? He said, He enjoined them to adhere to the Book of Allah, SVT. Malik said, Tala bin Musarif said, Husayl bin Shurabil said, Abu Bakr was granted leadership according to the will of Allah, according to the will, according to the will of Allah's messenger. Rather, Abu Bakr wished that he, Abu Bakr wished that they found a covenant in that regard from Allah's messenger, so he could feather his nose with a camel's nose ring. Great Sahih. It was narrated that Anas bin Malik said, "What the messenger of Allah." most enjoined when he was dying and breathing his last was the prayer and those whom your right hands possesses and those whom your right hands possess great daif <laughs> it was narrated that ali bin abu talib said the last words of the prophet were the prayer and those whom your right hands possess great daif <laughs> Chapter 2 Exhortation to make a will It was narrated from Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah said The Muslim man has no right to spend two nights if he has something for which a will should be made without having a written will with him. Great Sahih <coughs> It was narrated from Anas bin Malik that the Messenger of Allah said the one who is deprived is the one who is deprived of a will. Great Daif. It was narrated from Jabir bin Abdullah that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever dies leaving a will, he dies on the right path and sunnah, and he dies with piety and witness, and he dies forgiven. Great Daif. It was narrated from Ibn Umar that the Prophet said the Muslim man has no right to spend two nights if he has something for which will for which will should be made without having a written will with him. Great Sahih. Chapter 3 Injustice in Wills It was narrated from Anas bin Malik that the Messenger of Allah said Whoever tries to avoid giving the inheritance to his heirs, Allah SVT will deprive him of his inheritance in paradise on the day of resurrection. Great Daif. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, A man may do the deeds of the people of goodness for 70 years. Then when he makes his will, he is unjust in his will, so he ends his life with evil deeds and enters hell, and a man may do the people of evil for seventy years, then he is just in his will. So he ends his life with good deeds and enters paradise. Abu Huraira said, Recite, if you wish, these are the limits set by Allah, STV, up to his saying, a disgraceful torment. Great Hassan. It was narrated from Muawiyah bin Kura from his father that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever makes a will as death approaches and his will is in accordance with the Book of Allah, SVT, it will be an expiation for whatever he did not pay of his sakka during his lifetime. Great Daif. Chapter 4 the prohibition of withholding while alive 
only to squander upon one's death. It was narrated that Abu Hudayda said, A man came to the Prophet and said, O Messenger of Allah, tell me which of the people has most right to my good companionship. He said, Yes, by your father, you will certainly be told. He said, Your mother. He said, Then who? He said, Then your mother. He said, Then who? He said, Then your mother. He said, Then who? He said, Then your father. He said, Tell me, O Messenger of Allah, about my wealth, how should I give in charity? He said, Yes, by Allah, SVT. You will certainly be told you should give in charity when you are still healthy and greedy for wealth, hoping for a long life and fearing poverty. Do not tarry, do not tarry until your soul reaches here and you say, My wealth of for so and so, and my wealth of for so and so, and it will be for them even though you dislike that. Great Sahih. It was narrated that Busir bin Jahas al Quraishi that <coughs> the Prophet spat in his palm, then pointed to it with his index finger and said, Allah SVT says, Do you think you can escape from my punishment, O son of Adam, when I have created you from something like this, when your soul reaches here? and the Prophet pointed to his throat, you say, I give charity, but it is too late for charity. Great Sahih. Chapter 5 Making a Will for One Third It was narrated from Amir bin Saad that his father said, I became sick during the year of the conquest and was at death's door. The Messenger of Allah came to visit me and I said, O Messenger of Allah, I have a great deal of wealth and no one will inherit from me apart from my daughter. Can I give two thirds of my wealth in charity? He said, No. I said, Then half? He said, No. I said, One third? He said, One third and one third is a lot. If you leave your heirs rich, that is better than leaving them destitute and begging from people. Great Sahih. <coughs> it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, Allah SVT has been charitable with you over the disposal of one third of your wealth at the time of your death, so that you may be able to add to the record of your good deeds. Great Daif. It was, narrated, it was narrated from Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah said, Allah says, O son of Adam, I have given you two things which you do not deserve except by mercy of Allah, SVT. I allow you to dispose of a share of your wealth when you are on your deathbed in order to cleanse and purify you. And my slaves pray for you after your life is over. Great Daif. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, I would like the people to reduce the will from one third to one quarter because the Messenger of Allah said, One third is a lot. Great Sahih. Chapter 6 There is no bequest for an heir. It was narrated from Ahmed bin Karija. The Prophet addressed them. When he was on his camel, his camel was chewing its cud and its saliva was dripping between my shoulders. He said, Allah SVT has allocated for each heir his share of the inheritance. So it is not permissible to make a request for an heir. The child belongs to the bed and the adulterer gets the stone. Whoever claims to belong to someone other than his father or a freed slave who claims that his vala is for other than his mavali, upon him will be the curse of Allah, the angels and all the people, and no charge nor equitable exchange will be accepted from him.
or he said, no equator will exchange nor change. Great Hassan. Shurabil bin Muslim al Kavlani narrated from Abu Umama al Bahili that they heard the Messenger of Allah say in his sermon during the year of the farewell pilgrimage, Allah SVT has given each person who has rights his rights, and there is no bequest for for in air. Great Hassan. It was narrated that Anas bin Malik said, I was under the she camel of the Messenger of Allah, and its saliva was dripping between my shoulders, and I heard him say, Allah SVT has given each person who has rights his rights, but there is no bequest for an heir. Great Sahih. Chapter 7 Depths Before the Will. It was narrated that Ali said, the Messenger of Allah ruled that the debts should be paid off before the execution of the will you recite. The distribution in all cases is after the payment of li li ligas liga legacies he may have bequeathed or debts. The sons of one mother from the same father inherit from one another, but not the sons from different mothers, but the same father. Great Daif. Chapter 8. If a person dies without having made a will, can charity be given on his behalf? It was narrated from Abu Huraira that a man asked the Messenger of Allah, my father died and left behind wealth, but he did not make a will. Will it expiate for him if I, gi if I give charity on his behalf? He said yes. Great Sahih. It was narrated from Aisha that a man came to the Prophet and said, My mother died unex unexpectedly and she has not made a will. I think that if she could have spoken, she would have given in charity. Would she have a reward if I give, give in charity on her behalf? And will I have a reward? He said yes. Great Sahih. Chapter 9 Allah's SVT saying, But if he is poor, let him have for himself what is just and reasonable. It was narrated from Ahmed bin Shu'ayb from his father that, is, that his a grandfather said, A man came to the Prophet and said, I do not have anything and I have no wealth, but I have an orphan under my care who has wealth. He said, Eat from the wealth of your orphan without being extravagant or use it, or use it for trade. He, narrator, said, and I think, he said, do not preserve your wealth using his instead. Great Hassan. <laughs>